Hey everybody, it's Christina with It's a Keeper. Today I'm going to show you a recipe for a soy, ginger, garlic, uh, fish and seafood dish. This is so easy to make and so incredibly delicious, you won't believe it. It all started last year. My family was on vacation with some good friends of ours and we went out to dinner at this little crab shack on the beach and it was very um, how shall I say rustic there were there was no air conditioning open windows breezes blowing through and you basically looked at a board and you picked the type of seafood and fish that you wanted and then you chose a sauce so I chose for shrimp scallops and fish in this soy ginger garlic sauce when they brought it out and I tasted it I'm like oh I thought I died and went to heaven. So I think I've come up with something that's pretty darn close to the Crab Shack and I'm gonna show you today. So what I have here are some jumbo shrimp that I have peeled and deveined. I also have some large scallops and here I have um, some fish. I chose cod for today, but any kind of white fish will do. We're going to make a very simple sauce for it. In this bowl, I'm going to add olive oil. Oven's ready. I have my oven preheating to 450. Okay, to the olive oil, we're going to add four and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. This is where we get a lot of the flavor. And then to this, we are going to add about four tablespoons, which is about four to five cloves of garlic, depending on how big they are. You can never have too much garlic though, so I tend to err on the side of more than less. So I have five here. Okay, I've got all the garlic peeled, and then we're just going to run our knife through it. Get it you wanna get it into a nice, fine, mince. This is also a time when you could use a garlic press if you had it. Okay, we'll just add this right into our sauce. Now I have some fresh ginger and I store my ginger in my freezer so I took this right out of the freezer. I have it peeled and then I'm just going to grate about four tablespoons of ginger into the bowl. And we'll just whisk all of that together. Okay, now let's get our fish and seafood ready. I'm going to take and just arrange my shrimp nicely in the dish here. Oh look, it makes a nice little heart shape. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to fit all this. We'll make it fit. I'm gonna put my scallops over here. You could do this whatever type, with whatever type of seafood or fish that you like. And with the cod, I'm probably just going to oh, this looks about good. Just cut off a nice piece and we'll just place it right there and see if we can fit this last guy in there. Look at that. It's tight, but it works. Okay, we are going to season our fish and seafood. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then we'll just put all this sauce right on top. Make sure everything gets a nice coating. And we'll bake this in a 450 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes and wait till you see, it's absolutely amazing. Okay, so our fish is done. It was in the oven for about 15 minutes and you can, oh, this smells absolutely amazing. I think just, my stomach just grumbled a little. Um, it, you could tell the fish is done when it starts flaking apart in the, in the dish. 
And oh, the scallops are perfectly tender. And it just ah, smells absolutely amazing. So there you have it. Simple soy, ginger, garlic, fish, and shrimp and scallops in under a half an hour. For this recipe and more, visit my website, itisakeeper.com. I'm Christina from It's a Keeper. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.